Thank you for clicking on this video, and welcome everyone to the first ever episode of Small Cities. We will be going through the countries alphabetically, starting with... The small city we chose to highlight in this country is pronounced Paul E. Alam and is spelled many different ways in English. Map time. Afghanistan is a landlocked country at the crossroads of Central and South Asia. It comprises of 34 provinces. Here is the Kabul province, where the capital city of the same name is located. And just 90 kilometers or 55 miles south of the capital is where we find the Logar province, housing Poli Alam city. Now the Logar province itself is made up of seven districts. We'll be focused on the one right there in the middle, the one in the light red shade. The city of Poli Alam has a population of around 22,000. It can be roughly broken down into three sectors, the mountainous area where the mining sector is located, the bustling city centre and the surrounding urbanised core, and the agricultural area which makes up a fairly large part of the city. The urbanised core of Poli Alam benefits greatly from the Kabul Logar Highway. Thanks to its proximity to the capital, the citizens of Poli Alam can sell their raw materials from the mines alongside their agricultural products to the more economically vibrant city of Kabul. The people of the city are primarily made up of two ethnic groups. The Tajiks make up roughly a quarter of the population and are the second largest ethnic group in the whole of Afghanistan. By far the largest ethnic group, however, not only in the city but in the whole of Afghanistan are the Pashtuns. So prevalent are the Pashtuns that they were historically known as Afghans. They constitute around 48% of the population. <music> This is the monument located in the heart of the city centre. It's located near the historical Logar Vilayat Mosque. At night, it lights up the surrounding areas and local vendors sell their fresh produce and other goods on the busy streets. Another place you might consider visiting is the public park in Poli Alam. The restaurants in the city sell an assortment of Afghani delicacies. This is Bolani, a stuffed flatbread with fried fillings. It can be stuffed with a variety of ingredients such as potatoes, herbs or minced meat. Afghani palau is the national dish and is popular worldwide. The long grain rice with sweet raisins and nuts is usually served with kebabs. This is a traditional Tajik dish called Kuratub, where liquid cheese is soaked in soft breads and topped with fried vegetables like onion or potatoes. Barbecue is ubiquitous throughout Afghanistan and Poli Alam is no different. You can usually smell an assortment of grilled meats around lunch and dinner time. Final thoughts. Finally, I'll leave you with this. Unfortunately, when we hear about Afghanistan on the news, it's almost always about something negative. Of course, they have their problems over there, as do most countries around the world. That being said, what you may not see on the news are the wonderful people, the stunning cuisine, and the magnificent landscape that makes up this very beautiful and complex country. If you like my content, thank you for supporting me. Please like, comment, and share. Next up will be a small city in Albania. Bye-bye.